Hey coach, I'm so excited you found us. Make sure you subscribe down below and hit up above. We put new content out just about every day. Also, make sure you go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. If you want to put up balls like this, if you want to win, you want to learn the game, you want the roadmap to become a better basketball coach, teachhoops.com is the answer for you. It's a little bit of everything. It's mentoring, it's resources. Go over and check it out and have a great day. All right, we'll start building this. It's usually off a of 1-4 look. Let's get the first three guys come on out. Okay, we run a 1-4 high. We'll put the backside in afterwards, but we'll start building it with just one or two, with two players, and then we'll bring the post in. But for tonight, we'll just start with all three. First thing we like to look for is a backdoor cut. Now, point guard's bringing the ball down. They've got it in the transition, whatever they have coming up. I can't stand point guards trying to pass the ball from the top of the key. Point guard's got to bring the ball to a designated side. You're going to be on the lane or maybe a step or two off to make that pass. To trying to deliver the ball from here to the wing, one, it's too far, and two, most of you guys aren't strong enough to do that. So you want to bring it ball side to make that pass. Now, what we love to do if a team's going to overplay us, you're playing some really competitive teams. Um, we play St. Mary's out of Stockton, California, or St. Mary's out of Phoenix. Both teams play great man-to-man -man defense. They're going to come out and they're going to overplay us on the wing. Fine. What's your stopgap for that? Well, I will send this guard back door. Take one step up, make the defense take a step in on the D. The point guard's got to be ready to hit that pass. Yeah, lane, probably a little bit crisper than that. Don't know if that's going to make it on girls' JV. Okay? But take the defense all the way out. The defense overplays. Step, fire it. Right down the lane. And we're looking for a nice back door cut off it. Open it up. Give it a look. The post isn't going to get in the way, but the guard has to bring the ball to the player, and they're going to have to deliver that pass on the move. That's got to be a precision pass, and they've got to have that down. Second look, coach is going to take his defender down. Okay, pop out hard. Deliver the ball. Catch and square. Now, the one problem we run into this is too many players want to catch the ball. And I don't know if it's the, the shape of the court or what, but every player thinks that this is popping out. So kids wind up like out here. And then I've had some point guards that will deliver the ball as kids are walking this tightrope on the sideline. Not a good idea. We want the player to take their defender down and go out to the ball. So it's a V cut, not an I cut. And we'll go through practice where we'll put everybody out. I'll line up the guards, I'll line up wings, and we'll go through this with everybody. What is a V cut? And it sounds like really elementary, but at the high school level, they've got to know the difference, and they should be able to run that. You're Ving back to the ball. You're coming to the basketball. Good catch, good position, you get it here. Now, coach gets the ball, step or two off the lane, but that's okay. Point guard made the pass. Now, against a man-to-man, -man, most defensive teams teach their guards to jump to the ball, jump in the direction of the pass. That's great. Most teams in my conference are going to show that. They're not going to let him go through too easy, but they're going to step to the ball. He's going to go right off that high post screen. Now, preferably if the defense is jumping, he's going to run right off the back of that screen. And we're going to get a nice look right down the lane. The weak side is going to be spread out, so we're not going to allow any help on the ball side block. We're trying to open up the lane so it's not clogged. The one problem I have had is this post player tries to help out too much, and they tend to kind of want to come over and bump, or maybe lean a leg out. you got to watch the officials on that. They're not going to let you lean that leg. So it's his job to come off that high screen. Your job is to set the screen. If he doesn't come off it, that's his fault, not yours. You're in the right spot. You are in the position you're supposed to be. Don't try to assist. Be there. Just be, be support. His job is to come off that screen. If you've got a real good three-point shooter at the point, We've had a couple. Once in a while, I'll tell that kid if the defense is cheating because they know you're going through, and once the point guard gets bumped on that back screen, they are not going to want to get hit again. They'll open up and they'll drop down. I'll have my guard come in, bump off the screen, step back out, catch and shoot the three. So it gives us a couple of different looks there. So make, make the pass, come off the screen, you're going to go through. Doesn't get it? Great. Please tell Wings. Once the guard looks for it, if it's not there anymore, 
don't throw it late. Because too many times this guard's curling away, and now the ball's being thrown out of bounds. If it's not there right away, it's gone. Now we get into the pick. Ball screen, we're going to come out, set the screen right there. Hold, maybe a step off, come back to me a little bit. Your job is to screen in a position. You hold that spot right there. You dictate where the defense is going to be hit. If I'm playing D here, your job, coach, is to rub me off and rub me right into that screen. Shoulder to shoulder, use it. If I'm cheating over the top, then you can curl and go. Okay? If you have to and got to take me down a dribble to give me the defensive look, then you come off. If the team starts to cheat on that, which everybody will do because they know the pick is coming, and they start dropping back and coming over the top, your job is then to go right to the rim because we've already cleared out that lane. The only thing you may get is the point guard's help. If the point guard is smart, the defensive point guard may hang in the middle. Hey, you've got to be, be ready for that. It's going to give you a weak side shooter if you need it. But we're going to run a pick and roll on the ball side. That pick has got to be key. Set the screen, good. You're going to go two dribbles. Now, I don't know where this game changed, but I'm watching NBA players, players making millions of dollars that can't come off a screen. I don't know what's wrong with our game. I don't know where we lost it. Come back here, let's come off that. When I was younger and I was taught, and I was taught by some really good coaches, you are coming two dribbles off the screen. Not one, not stopping and throwing some ridiculous look. You're going to come and you're going to get to the lane right there. Great. Your job is to open up ball side and roll hard down that lane. Okay? Let's see you do that again. Run that again. Moffitt, two dribbles hard down the lane and finish. That's what it's supposed to look like. Two dribbles to the lane. Now, this guard... This should be your best shooter. It should be your best shooter. And if for some reason you've got a guard that can't go left, as many people do, run it to the opposite side. I don't even want to fight that. That's not a fight I want to have. I can't go left, coach. All right, you can go right. Great. We'll run it on the other side for you. It's not worth the fight. You can't go left. I'm not going to change that overnight. But if you've got a kid that can go both ways and can come off the screen, this time I want you to come off... I want you to get in the paint and I want you to square and shoot. Now, it's a nice open elbow jump shot. It's a shot that's in good range. If you're open off it, great. If there's a switch, if they switch, um, come out here, guard the big fella, and Rich, come on out here, guard the ball. You guys are good for a second. Okay, now, if this is what happens. I want you guys to switch. Okay, you're going to come set the screen. Screen. Good, good, good. Now, they switch. Stop right there, coach. You open up and roll. Now, stay with them. Come around them. This is where you've got to instruct the guards not to give up their dribble. Because now I've got the perfect mismatch. I now have my post being guarded by, hopefully, the other team's smallest player. And I've created a mismatch. What kills it is when this two guard all of a sudden picks up their dribble. Because now we've done exactly what we want. We created the mismatch. You see that switch. You see the big guy on you? Well, really don't want you shooting over the biggest kid on the floor. That's not smart basketball. What I'd like you to do is bring it back out to the wing. Now you create that angle. You've got to go guard him. Great. And now I've got a mismatch where I can get a two-man game going in the post. If I need to flash somebody here, great. But I've got an ideal two-man game that we can set up with a mismatch if they switch. You've got to know your opponent. If they switch, great. If they stay, hey, you've got to work, fight through that. All right, let's set that again. Take it up top. Take it up top. Great. Now you're going to come on over this side. Give me one more guy. Come on out. You're going to start facing right here. I want you up. You're going to face the rim right here. You're going to start right down here on the B. Right down here, just off the B, maybe like two or three steps off the block. Okay? Usually my best shooter, my best perimeter shooter, I'm going to stick on the weak side. We're going to run a little down screen on this. Okay? First look is the back door. It's not there. You're going to pop out, get it. Come off that screen. 
Great look. Come out, set the pick and roll. Now, stop right there. As soon as that dribble goes down, as soon as that dribble goes down on the ball side, you are going to go find. Hey coach, so glad you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed it a lot, actually. If you did, subscribe and like, and then go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. Find the shooter's defender. Now, most weak side defense, if a coach is work anything, their weak side defender, if that's my shooter, there's the ball. The defender's going to be here. The defender's not going to be next to him. Your job is to come down and hit that. You're going to corner. You are now going to flash nice and wide right there. You're coming off the screen. This is what you got. You've got your roller coming. You've got your jump shot. And now I've got a shooter popping out here who just got cleared out on a screen. And it brings hopefully my second biggest player into the lane, setting that screen, then clearing out for a weak side rebound. If he misses that layup, your job is to be here to clean up the house. All right, he misses that jump shot, you've got it. If you don't have either one, ball goes right across. Your job is to catch and look. If you're open, this is a great jump shot off that pick and roll. If you're not, everybody leaves the point guard open. Go to the corner. You're sealing on the block. You just got to switch because now you've got a two guard. His man's guarding you. I'm going to guard you. My man, the big kid, my big kid's out here guarding him. Now I've created a mismatch. I'm down here. Now you're going to deliver the ball. You go to work. You're on the weak side block. We've got it now all the way through for a weak side post. So all off the pick and roll on that screen, we're trying to get as many options as we can. Let's set that again. Set that again. On the dribble, you're going to down screen. So we've got a ball screen and a weak side. Little pop out. Nice look. Little cut. Great. Little pick and roll. Nice look. Corner. Good, and hit the post. Now, that weak side gets open every time. And the object there is to try to make it so we move the ball. We rotate it all the way through. This pick and roll is key. Now, we break it down. We'll do two man, or we'll do the V cut. We'll do a third man, put the third player in to set the screen. Everything comes off the pick and roll. We run it off a high screen once in a while, but I like that wing screen. All right, let's reverse the sides, run it from the left side, run it from the left side. Come on over and you're going to set the screen now on the left. So you're going to be out and facing up here. Perfect. Probably off the lane. Now, the weak side's really great. If you've got a big kid out here, maybe he's got a nice touch, maybe he can handle, you're going to be right off the lane right here. Perfect spot there. If they get in trouble, point guard gets in trouble up here happens too many times. This kid fakes everybody out, runs down, then comes out and is covered. And you pick up your dribble. So you pick up your dribble. Big deal. Not the end of the world. Step out. Hit him. Now look what you got. You're stepping out. You've got a nice little roll right down the lane here. Okay? You've got a guard on the wing. You've got your post player. And I've got a nice big triangle. We can work off that. Alright, I can catch the ball here. I can kick it weak side. I can catch the ball, I can square up, or I can kick it back out. Or, if you need to, shot clock? I mean, no shot clock? No shot clock? Why? We need a shot clock in this high school game. Really does. Gotta have a shot clock in a high school game. It makes the game more interesting. It gets you ready for college. Alright, let's run it through on this side. Little V cut. Come to the ball. Beautiful. Go off the screen. Good. Little pick and roll. Down screen. Nice look, catch, and we feed the weak. Beautiful thing. So, you've got about 10 options off each look. There's a whole bunch of things you can do with it. I love the ball side screen. I love that ball side pick and roll. That's a great way to get somebody open. And if you can roll to the basket, you can score. You can score. As soon as everybody knows you're doing that, if you hit that pick, that pick and roll, hit the roller this time. Hit the roller. Go through. Great. Down screen. Roll. Stop. Stop. Come on back. Come on back. It's okay. Not a problem. Good hustle. Good hustle. Just go, go through. Rich, go through. Just give him the ball. 
Give them the ball in the wing. You go through. Okay, now, right here. You're going to set that screen. The defender's going to run into you. Your defensive player is probably going to be here, right? Hedging. The defensive player that runs into you, you want to keep them sealed. Exactly. You always want to open up whatever shoulder they come off. He hits this shoulder, you're going to open up with that shoulder nice and big. And your job is to go, not to stand there. You've got to go to the rim. If you stand there and step out, eh, get into that jump shot stuff. Get to the rim, open up the lane, give him a good look. Once you get the ball here, give it to him this time. Set that pick and roll. Give it to him. You get that ball there, you're going to look to finish. If the defense sloughs off, that's not your fault. He's got to read that. You see the other defender standing here? Yeah, you can give him a look, but that's when you're going to go weak side because now that's whose defender is it? It's usually the point guards. That's a wide open shot from the corner. If they shuffle out and try to get you, they're charging at you, great. Swing it. Swing the ball. Give it to him. He doesn't get it. I'm hiding. I'm running out at you. I'm running out. Put it on the floor. Go by. Now you got the big fellow right there or you can kick it. Okay, if I'm running at you, probably not the wisest thing is to jack it up. You want to make sure you're putting it by because now you've got a mismatch somewhere. Create it. Drive to the basket. Create something. All right, but you're looking to deliver the ball and you've got everybody in spots. Okay? All right, let's get... Uh, big man, you're going to start right up here on the top. Richie, right up here with the ball. Um, best shooter. There? Where? <laughs> yeah, over there. Okay. I like this. This is comedy hour. Put your best shooter, weak side corner, opposite the ball. I like it on the left side because I always get right-handed guards for some reason. I don't know. Everybody else does too. All right. You're going to start down the block. Coach, you're going to start right there. Now, we run this screen game, single high post. This goes back to this one Lawrence Frank ran at, for the Jersey Nets. Now, Lawrence Frank worked the canteen at camp. He sold soda and chips to kids. How he became a professional coach, I still have no idea. But obviously, I'm a high school coach, so I don't know much. I'm just, you know, one of the guys cleaning the floor. We bring the big kid up to the high post. I put my best shooter in the ball side corner. You need a three. You need a good look. You need a score. What I'm opening up is the weak side lane. If I've got a point guard who can make penetration and get by, I'm going to use my high post. You're going to bring the ball down almost even to that lane, so probably to this volleyball line. You're going to make a change, either a spin move, I don't trust your crossover, little spin move, and you're going to come hard off this single high post. Your job is to come off that post looking to go to the rim. You've got to read the defense. If the defense is here, staying with him, you're attacking the rim. Coach, you're going to down screen. You're going to run a little down screen. He's going to pop out. What you're going to have when you turn the corner, as soon as he comes off that screen, you'll down screen. As soon as you round that corner, you're going to have your big man rolling down the lane. So he's going to open up. Come on off him. Come on off him. Okay? He's going to open up. Good. Hold it there. Your job as the guard is to see. Do I have a shooter? If this opens up like the Mississippi River, you're going to the rim and you're not going to make 15,000 moves. You're going to make a basic layup score and get and play defense. That's your job. If he's open, you've got a great kick out. If his defense comes in, he's wide open for a standstill three. Don't put the ball up here. Don't put the ball at his toes. Deliver the ball in his hands. That's where it's got to be delivered. Your big man just set a great screen and got a switch. So now he's going to be rolling the lane. He's going to the block. You're going to get into there before somebody stops you. Right there is probably about where you're going to get slowed down or stopped. Decision one. Decision two. Big man rolling the lane. Decision three. Coach made a little down screen. He's going to be stepping right up off the backside here. You've got him on a little pop up and look here. All right? And we've got our wing out there. So we've got a whole bunch of looks. Ideally, it's for a three. I run this for a three-point shooter who can stand still. Quick hit. I need a three. We need a three. We got to get it going. I set this up. We call it Jersey. It's a nice high post, and it's a single ball screen that we run up. 
All right, let's see if we can run that. Good. Bring it down. Nice look. All right. Follow and put. Good. You make sure you get back. Nice rebound. All right. Ideally, a nice high screen where you're going to open up the lane. There's no help. The defense is running. They've got to make sure they stay with the two on the, wheel, on the ball side. So the only player that really hinges on this is the kid guarding right here. All right. Run it again. Let's see how smart you are. Good. Nice finish. Big guys love that. Big guys love that. You, they just set you a great screen. You drew the big man out. Now you kick it to him for a little layup. Big guys love that. That's worth about, I don't know, probably about four or five rebounds a game. You give it to the big guy as he's cutting the lane, working hard. You'll get four or five more rebounds out of him. Promise. It's a guarantee. You give a big guy the ball as he's going to the rim hard, you'll get a, he'll go next time down, he's going to rip something off the rim. You come down the lane, and he's rolling hard to the basket open, and you take this jump shot, he's usually got his head down, trudging back down to do work again. He ain't as happy. Make the big man happy. It's always a good idea. Makes everybody happy on the floor. All right, run it again. Let's see how smart you are. Kick, shot, finish weak side, good follow. Hopefully you've got an advantage on the weak side board because of that down screen. If you can get that weak side screen, it's a great look. I thought you could shoot. That's all right. Don't worry about it. It's only a drill. It's only a drill. It's all good. It's all good. So a single high screen looking for a wide open shot. Now, the other part of the screen that you've got to be able to do is create looks. The hey, coach. Welcome uh, to our YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe down below and click up above. Um, that way you'll be notified of everything that kind of comes through. If you're looking to win championships, if you're looking to have a basement, messy basement like this, but a basement like this, go down over and check out teachups.com for coaches who want to get better. It's the resources. It's mentoring. It's the one-stop shop for basketball coaches. Go over and check it out. Have a great day. Three is part of our game. Like it or not, we've got to be able to hit the three. We go through every day in practice situations. I like to have the clock out. We'll run it, you know, 15 seconds down one, 15 seconds down two, 20 seconds down three. And we do it for five minutes almost every practice. You've got to have a home run play in your arsenal, put it in. You've got to have a last second look with the three point shot. You've got to have something that's going to give you a really good opportunity to knock down a three. This gives you a single look, it's a great look. I like the high screen because it opens up the floor, but this is designed ideally for a point guard. If this kid's having a banner night, hey, I gotta see what the defense is gonna do. What's the opposing coach gonna do? My point guard's gotta read it. If not, you've got a layup or you got your big man cutting or you've got your weak side guys trying to get open. All right, the last second shot, we're gonna run a little play. Keep it right over here. Let's see. Let's bring you right here. I'm going to start you here. You're going to come up to the top. Come on over. You're going to start right out here in the corner. Actually, no. Start block. Coach, you're going to start corner. Right there. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Now, I overload this side because I find most players can run it easily to this side and we get better looks from the left side. I find most you better on that side. If not, you can run it reverse. It's really up to you. We run this set with a triple. It's a couple of screens just to get a quick look. Everything's a quick hit. Ball's here. You're going to be on the high post. When in doubt, point guard can come off this right up on the high, right up on the top of the straddle that line. Perfect. When in doubt, the point guard can come off the high post and look for the shot. Okay? You're going to have the ball bring him maybe one or two steps in. Perfect. Big man right here is going to come down. Set a screen right here. Screen it, you're going to pop out. That's your first look right there. Coach, you're going to come down and set a screen on the big guy. Your job is to get open and now get out to the corner. There's your first look. This is your second right here. Give the big fella the ball. Now you're looking for that three. What do you think? Hey! And the coach looks like a star. Because if it works, you look great. If you lose, it's your fault. The guys did a great job. If you win, hey, kid hit a great shot. 
Coaches never win. Coaches haven't won games in a long time. All right? Bring the ball up. All right? Same thing. Wait till he gets up. Wait till he gets to like the volleyball line. You're going to down screen. You're popping out wing. You're going to screen the screener and pop out to the corner. Okay? Let's go. Go with it. Come on, pop out. Go ahead. You got it. Once he gets there, you're going. No, no. Screen him. Screen him. Screen him. Good. He's coming out. Screen you. Little pop, little corner. Let's see you do that again. Oh, weak side rebound. Put that home. Now, the whole idea is you want to try to go. If, let's say there's 20 seconds left. You want to try to run this. I like running it about 10, 11 seconds. That way, if you need it, I've got my big man crashing the boards. He's not standing here. He's crashing from about 20 feet out, 21 feet out. So hopefully he's quick enough and he can outrun the defense in and get that weak side board. Gets it. We don't want the two unless you're going to get killed. I've got a point guard spotting up. I've got a shooter spotting up. And I've got another shooter there. Your job is to get it back out. All right? So start here. Great. Bring it down. Go. Good luck. Catch. Shot. He missed it. Kick it. Spot it. And a beautiful thing. So it gives you still three guys out facing. Gives you a nice big rebounder, hopefully going down the lane, who can grab and kick it back out. Players have to know that. And I don't know, I've done this for a couple of years. If you don't go over this in practice, you can have the nicest whiteboard in the world. But trying to diagram this up with 21 seconds left, it's pretty hard. Because let's face it, he's thinking about the shot that he missed. He's worried about the four fouls he's got, all right? He's still kind of being a mental case because he missed a putback. And he's trying to think about who's talking to his girlfriend in the stands. So his head's not here. And you're trying to go, okay, listen, you're going to down screen, you're going to run. No, this is done in practice months in advance. And it's run through a couple of times so everybody knows their job. Then you're going to take the last couple of guys on the bench and you're going to put them out here because by the end of the game, He's going to be sitting down next to you with five fouls, and he's probably going to be sitting down crying on the end of the bench because he's worried his girlfriend's still talking to somebody. So you better have other people to be able to run this. Let's try it one more time. Drive it in. Good. Look at it. Good. Look. Oh, yeah, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Very nice. Little screen to screener, giving you a nice look. All right? Now, the whole purpose here is to try to make that screening game work. If you can run a pick and roll successfully, you can be a pretty good coach. Players could be a whole lot better if they could learn how to open up and get somewhere, and they would get better looks. The high screen from the other cut, really nice look if you've got a point guard who can put the ball on the floor well and can attack the rim. Because if you clog it up, and I've done this too many times, start down the block, start out on the wing, come right down here on the block, coach right up on the wing, Bring it to the middle. Yeah, right down that block. Come on over here. Perfect. Now, I run this as a standby. And this is, this is just a nice, easy set that we run. And this is kind of like my base offense. We've got some pretty good academic kids. But I don't always have the smartest players. Got some really good ones, but not always very smart. So I want something simple I can fall back to. Especially when I travel out of state. New Jersey. Pennsylvania, Minnesota, Arizona, teams that don't, states that don't have shot clocks, I gotta have something I can run a couple of times through. So this doesn't give the guard the opportunity to drive to the basket. It kind of clogs up the lane, but it gives the big guys a really nice look. You're gonna bring it to a side. Let's bring it over. Most of you are gonna be right-handed. You're gonna deliver the ball. Little V-cut, take it down. If you gotta pop out off him, great. The wings can use the post player. They can come down, they can bump them, they can pop back out. Your job is to get open somewhere, foul line extended. Great look. On the pass, you're going to come find his player. Now think for a second. You look like an intelligent young man. His defender's probably going to be in the middle. He's probably the guy with the super big arms. Your job is to get right in front of him and set that screen here. You've got to wait for the screen. And then you are going to flash hard right into that elbow right there. Now, the ideal look here, I've got a single 
wing who's got now baseline look. You can take the ball, you can bring it down, try to isolate the big man. There's my look right there. That's the shot I want. Right there, give it to him. High post, catch. If the defense doesn't correct, collect itself and get on you, that's a nice jump shot. That little high-low screen gives us a nice look. If the defense does what it usually does, and coaches teach this, he's got the ball. And the big man's being fronted. He's being denied on the baseline side. And coach down the other end is sitting there going, great job, you got to the baseline, you're in perfect help position. Yeah, that's wonderful. Now you give it to the high post. Well, you got to recover. Get around his ass. Come on, get around him. Um, coach, I can't get around him. He sealed me. The high-low look works great. All right, give him the ball back. Doesn't get it. Step out. Catch the ball. Beautiful thing. Now you're on the post. You're staying right there. It happens. We put the guard in the post. Okay. It happens. If we have to, we'd run a little back screen and get you open. All right? Bring it over to the other side. Bring it over to the other side. Hit him with the pass. Great. Screen the big fella. Right down. Bring it down, coach. Bring it down. Nice little look. There he is right there on the high. Now, preferably this is not the high-low look we want. My point guard's in the block. Probably not the look I want. But if it's a point guard who can post up, now, you want to make sure you're getting that look. If not, you've got a nice high look. The only problem I have with this set when we run it, when it gets to this point and the point guard's maybe on the block, when the shot goes up, if he goes to take that shot, where are you going? Yeah, you're sprinting back because this is not your home. Your home's up there. You've got to be the man back because right now he's thinking rebound, he's thinking rebound, he's thinking rebound. Your job is to get back. He takes that shot. So we run that high-low screen all the way through. You don't have it? One hard dribble, take it over, kick it, down screen, good. Now this is the look we want right here, good, bang, square, right there, right there, right there, that's the look, come on, don't, don't delay, that's automatic. You're not taking that shot. If this big guy, so you're not used to being in the post. This guy's in here fighting for position. He's busting, he's going. This man just came down and sacrificed his body and set a great screen to get you open. I know you're wide open. You probably could hit that five out of ten times. All right, maybe six out of ten. If you're not hitting that 80%, this guy just got open. Why? Because the defense was here. Give him the ball. Defense was here. Your first look should be at your teammate right there. That's the look you want right there. Bang, score. He'll get fouled. You'll look like a genius. you get three more rebounds out of him. All off that little high-low screen. All right? It's all about the angle and it's all about the screen. If you can get that screen set and get guys open, you can get a high-low look. And that high-low look can be real powerful because that's the look you want to get. Especially if you've got a couple of power forwards, a couple of post players, just guys who play real good in there and teams that pass the ball well. This triangle is great. Now, if you go back to why the Bulls were successful, Michael Jordan's not on the court, Scottie Pippen's not here. The architect of the Bulls triangle offense was Tex Winter. Tex ran something like this where we would always have one, two, three guys on one side of the floor. And if you can run a three-man game, you're going to make your post players very happy. You're going to get some nice open jump shots. All right? We might even get a little backdoor screen off it. I don't go that far, but we've run a backdoor screen. Give him the ball. Little back pick right here. We run a little back pick off that and we get a nice look. Maybe get a nice open look on that. But the whole point is to get a continuous offense that flows. Run that through like three times and let's get a shot. Reverse it at least twice. Reverse it at least twice. Okay, little down screen. Wait for it. Good. Nothing there. Bring it over. Good. Down screen. Opposite. Good. Pop off it hard. Nice. Catch. Look. Nothing there. Reverse it. Bring it over. Great. Down screen. Here's your look. Here's your look. Right there. Bang. Finish. And you get a nice look. You're using some shot clock. You're getting some nice easy looks. And it's spreading the floor. Everybody's getting a touch. Everybody's getting a look. And we're trying to make sure that screen. The hard part is, I'm coming down screening his man. He has to wait for the screen. He has to wait for the screen. The post player's got to be patient. 
You've got the ball, you can't panic. Now, if you think about it for a second, give him the ball. This is a real tough one if you're going to start like firing jump shots. Because now I've got my point guard going down for my weak side block, and I'm bringing probably my best rebounder. My best rebounder's coming high. So once he comes high, I don't put up a stop sign, but this would be a really good idea. This is not where I shoot the ball. I love it when the guard will bring the ball down, right? especially if it's not a double team situation, because this look is ideal. And if you get it here, and you can split that lane, especially if the defense is going to be on the high side, give him the ball. Okay, you've got a mismatch, now you've got a guard on you. One hard dribble, get to the rim. Let's try one hard dribble and get to the rim. Not this little girl sissy thing. Okay, give him the ball again. Good, catch. One hard dribble, get to the rim. Thank you. Ah, much better. Much better. All right, you've got a nice lane down there. Okay, you can get right to the rim. Ideally, we want the high-low look. That high-low look, I think, is exceptional because it really breaks teams, especially if they're going to switch. If you know your opponent and they're going to be switching man to man, the high pick and roll, this little baseline screen gives you a nice look. Now, let's go one more. Now, one more set we run. Um, let's see if we can get this right. Start out here with the ball. You're going to start right down here. Coach, start down a little 1 4 low. A little 1 4 low. I run this, I don't run this as an offense. I run this to prepare my team for teams that do run. Now, if you go against the flex offense, you've got to have some preparation in. You can't just let guys go against the flex and they've never seen it before. And if you don't know what teams are going to do, the flex offense can be really annoying and it makes, it'll embarrass the team. If it's run right, it will embarrass teams. I don't run it as an offense, I run it as a quick hit, but we put it in so that our defense knows how to beat it. There's three or four teams that run it really well. And if we happen to see them during a the season, or maybe on the road, I've got to be prepared for it. And that's my job as a coach, to make sure my team's ready. You're going to bring the ball to this side. You're going to pop out nice and high. Good, give him the ball. Great. You're going to come off that baseline screen from the big man. Come off that baseline screen. You're down screening. Pop up, and you step out. Beautiful thing. Okay, little baseline screen, good. Pop up, little baseline screen and down. Step out, sir, step out. Great, coming off, coming down. Now, beautiful. It's a screen, it's a screen to screener, and your team has to be prepared for that. So if you don't run it, that's okay. I like it because I like a quick hit off it. And I run a reverse one, we run it high. You can run it a whole bunch of different ways. But it's a nice thing to have, especially on the road, if you're traveling and you've got to keep the ball. This runs really well. The hard part is, coaches lose their minds because big man's going to wind up out here with the ball. He's standing 21 feet from the basket with the ball. And I used to have a long hair, and I've lost my hair because I've got big kids who stand out here and want to shoot. But if you can run it, it's a nice look, especially if guards can set screens. All right, start it again. Just start it again, just run it through. All part of a screening game. Nice pop out, good look. Little pop, square catch and look, good. Little pop, step out, nice. Step out, step out, there it is, good. All right, next baseline and finish. Catch and finish. Don't put the ball on the floor. Don't put the ball on the floor, good. All right, thanks fellas, on the baseline, all right, that's great. Now. The whole part of the screening game, whether it's off the ball and running the flex, whether it's just a little ball screen for the weak side block, is to get somebody open. Hey coach, so happy you enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe and like. Go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who